Hello, welcome to Justin and Civil. Elementary profile of a dam features. Elementary profile of a dam looks like a right angle triangle. It is a gravity dam because resisting force is the weight of the dam itself. The force acting on it are hydrostatic force and uplift force which cause overturning and weight is the only resisting force. So it is a gravity dam because it resists, resists all these forces with its own weight. It has zero top width and no freeboard. It means you can see here right angle triangle it has zero top width. If it had some width then it would have been something like this or something like this. Here you can see their top width. And it has no freeboard it means water is up to the top level had it had freeboard it would have been something somewhere here water level and this is the freeboard shape of dam is right angle triangle and it resembles the shape of the hydrostatic pressure you can see here this is the elementary profile dam and this is the hydrostatic pressure diagram both figure resembles now it is subjected to three forces as we already said hydrostatic force uplift force and self weight this is the elementary profile hill toe width and this is the height of the dam you can see here water is up to the top level so it has no free board. Now let us calculate the forces acting on the elementary profile. Let's see first hydrostatic force. We know pressure is given by gamma into EH. If up to this from the free surface this is their pH1 then pressure at this point would be gamma into h1 gamma is equals to rho g rho means density and g means acceleration due to gravity now to calculate the force we need to find the area of this triangle which is 1 by 2 into base base is gamma into h into height height in this case is h yeah. So we get 1 by 2 gamma h square and this gamma is of water because force is due to water. Here you can see p equals to 1 by 2 into base into height. Now this one is for unit length of the dam and total we get 1 by 2 gamma of water h square. You can see here this is the dam. and this length is considered as unit length elementary profile of the dam so we consider this length as unit length and calculate now this gamma can be written as rho of water rho means density of water which is 1000 kg per cubic meter and g is acceleration due to gravity 9.81 meter per square second now we need to know where the force act this is a triangle and we know the centroid of the triangle above the base is s by 3 so the force acts at point s by 3 above the base and towards the right direction that is towards the dam towards right and s by 3 above the base now Let's calculate uplift pressure. In the similar manner, we have to calculate the uplift pressure. The pressure at this point, that is hill point, is gamma into h, and this c is coefficient, which ranges from 0 to 1. And at this point, pressure is 0, so uplift pressure is triangular here. 
also the force of uplift pressure due to uplift is 1 by 2 into base into height area of the triangle and unit area into the paper so we will get c gamma s into b and unit length 1 1 by 2 c gamma h b 1 by 2 c gamma h b here also unit uplift is due to water so we get the gamma of water and gamma of water is equal to rho of water into g now let's see where this force acts this is also a triangle and from the base we know it acts at b by 3 that is length is divided by 3 which is b in this case so it acts from heel towards the right side at a distance b by 3 uplift pressure acts towards upward yeah uplift pressure acts towards upward now let's see self weight self weight also acts at b by 3 from the heel but in the downward direction you can see here this is b by 3 We know it is equal to gamma into volume. Gamma and volume is given by area of triangle into unit length. 1 by 2 into base into height. This is area of triangle and into unit length. Which is this unit length. So we get 1 by 2 gamma. But in this case gamma is of gamma concrete. So rho into g. Rho is, of, rho is the density of concrete. Which is 2400 kg per cubic meter per concrete. Now, in terms of water, we can write G into gamma W. G is the specific weight, which is 2.4 for concrete. And G 9.81 meter per square second. Hence, we can say W is equal to 1 by 2. Instead of gamma, we can write G gamma W. So, G gamma W is B. And it acts at B by 3 from here and downward. 